So welcome to Kobe, Japan. We're just entering the dock right now. Got a cool lighthouse right there. We're gonna try to wander the city on our own. Maybe if we can find out where the bullet train is, we're gonna try to ride the bullet train. We're gonna eat some Kobe steak, what they're known for. And we're gonna do some hiking up one of the mountains. Supposed to be some botanical gardens. I forgot the name of it. But yeah, we're gonna have a fun day today. Starting in three, two, one. So that was a great welcome to Kobe by its local people. They had the balloons, they had the boat with all the water show that they did for us when we were entering, so that was very cool. So I just wanna say thank you to Kobe for such a great welcome. I'm gonna go get a jacket, because it is windy out there and then go get some food and I will see you outside. So we're off the boat. They gave us a free shuttle into town. First stop, Chinatown behind this bus. Can't really see it, it's a lot of traffic right now. But right here at Chinatown, from what I understand, this Chinatown is Japan's largest Chinatown. I don't know if you can see it, we're gonna, there's a little Buddha right there. You got the, the gateway in there, we're gonna get there in a little bit. But then when you, the shuttle from the uh, ship to here, where it drops off, they have these uh, little trolleys that are called City Loop. You get a little day pass, it's like 640 yen, I believe it was. So it's like six bucks or something American money. And it's just like one of those hop on, hop off buses. It takes you to 15 different locations, pretty much all the major locations you want to go to here in Kobe for like six something. So that's fantastic of a price. You get this little card you for the day. You pay per stop if you want 200 some yen, but they scratch off the date and you just give this to the driver and you're good all day long. Hop on, hop off to about almost six o'clock and what a, what a great deal. Um, we're going to head into Chinatown real quick. Then we'll get on the hop on, hop off bus and wander around. I even see a Spider-Man right inside the gate. There's a Spider-Man hanging up on the wall, on the ledge. All right, let's get going. Another cool little thing, we're here walking around the street and stuff. You get all these bikes in the background. What's interesting is that you feel pretty safe here in Japan. They don't even lock up their bikes. No one steals, at least not openly. But otherwise, I feel very comfortable, very safe here. And yeah. Duck, it's what's for dinner. So still walking through Chinatown and this place is different than the ones I'm used to. This place, right now we found this one alley that it's covered. It's like covered long, couple blocks long of a indoor shopping area. Very cool. Lots of those stores and lots of things to buy. So we hopped on that little trolley. It took us to the famous port of Kobe. Let's see if we can take a glimpse way, <laughs> way up to the very top. 
at the Port of Kobe. And it is tall. I'm not gonna go in because we have too many things to do. Got a bunch of students Yay! in there. Yay! Yay! Hey! Oh, isn't that cute? YouTuber? Huh? YouTuber? I'm learning to do YouTube. So oh. yes. Hey. Good English. Good English. Good English. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, more joining. More joining here, Kobe. Woo! Oh, we dropped the eye too. All right, join more people. Tons of nice people here in Kobe. YouTube. Yes. YouTube. YouTube. So that was fun. We got my pictures with the students. They're gonna look for me on YouTube now. <laughs> so they can be on it. So like I said, we're at the port of Kobe. We got the famous tower behind me. And if you look over here, it's absolutely stunning skylight in the background. Beautiful, beautiful. And you got like every single port we got what? A Ferris wheel. So you can't go to Japan without trying to find a uh, Ferris wheel in every single port. So pretty cool. That's I believe called Harbor Land. So we're gonna head over there in a little bit and see what we can do. Maybe get on the Ferris wheel, it's a small one, but we'll see. I've said it a bunch of times, I'm sure, but Japan is beyond clean here. I don't see trash, there's always someone cleaning. There's, I just don't see trash on the floors like I'm used to. No gum on the streets, I mean. Anyway, we're over here, it's Mosaic. Looks like the, where the Ferris wheel is and everything. There's a little theme park and restaurants and little shops. So we're gonna take a look over there. And, Look like, oh, no, the Ferris wheel is moving. The Ferris wheel is moving. We got a bunch of students. It must be like school trip day or something. It is um, about to be the weekend. We have tons of uh, uh, students back there all dressed up in their nice outfits. But yeah, I've seen tons of school kids out here. I guess school trip day. <laughs> There's even a little group of maybe eight, nine, ten year olds that were doing a trip to learning about the city of Kobe with their teacher, which was really cool. So, it's nice to learn about your own town, your own city. And I am loving vacation life without having to work. I don't know what I'm gonna do in January when I have to get back to work. So, anyway, I'll see you later. So we're here inside the Mosaic. It's like a little shopping center. You got restaurants and even you got Sega in the background. You got even Tony Roma's Steakhouse. So it's pretty cool in here. Basically, time to spend money, which we're going to try not to do today and right here because I don't need to go shopping. But otherwise, it looks really cool. Um, oh, you got a character, Snoopy. Yep, Snoopy. He travels too. And we're gonna head to the Ferris wheel. Oh, got sunny. But, if I hadn't said it already, I absolutely love Japan. Cat. All right, we're in Shinkobe Station, where all the trains are. We're going down to the basement, so we go to, let's see what it's called, Nanobaki, N-U-N-O-B-I-K-I, Nanobiki, something like that. It's a waterfalls, observatory, herb, botanical gardens. It's supposed to be beautiful, and it's about 15 minutes or so hike up to the waterfall. Then from there you go to the botanical gardens and you keep going up the mountain to the observation deck where there's supposed to be a restaurant, gift shop, whatnot on the very top. Then we'll take the sky tram, like a rope car up in the air. We're gonna take that back down to the, back down the mountain to go to the train station. From there here in um, Shinkobe station, we're gonna get on the bullet train 
and he said, I just told the front desk I just want to get the cheapest, the quickest way just to be able to be on it. And that's about a 15 minute ride on the bullet train to the next city. And that cost, she thinks about, well, no, for sure when we buy the ticket, but they estimated that it might be like 15 bucks one way and 15 bucks the way back. So like 30 bucks round trip, not bad to try the bullet train. Much cheaper than buying on the cruise ship, where on the cruise ship, uh, we we're gonna spend two, three hundred dollars to do the bullet train and a couple other things. So, let the adventure begin. Right behind me is the cable cars. That's where we're gonna use to get um, back down. But right now we're gonna do the hike to get up there. Just had to find out where the start is. Oh, here you go. So apparently very confusing to walk through the trails, dirt trails or whatnot. So I guess they convinced me just to do the round trip monorail. So we, thank you. So we're gonna enter right now. Woo! Thank you. So we're gonna do the monorail. We're, we're gonna do the sky tram all the way to the very top. And then come back down, figure out how at least to get to the waterfall that we couldn't see via this. And we'll walk that, that's only a 15 minute hike. And we'll see how we do. So as Christy would say, she was right. Much better to have spent the time walking through the herb garden, the botanical garden, and see these beautiful views both times, than do all that hiking for enjoyment because there's too many things to do here in Kobe to waste your time. Walking around the woods, not seeing much here. I can see so much of the city and everything. So we're stopping right here at Kobe, Nunopiki, Herb Gardens and Botanical Gardens. Here we go, let's get off. It is absolutely beautiful here at the gardens. I love the building in the background, it kind of looks like we're in Germany. And even the menu reminds me of Germany. You got sausage, bratwurst, beer. Has the colors of Germany. But it's it's awesome. I love it. I'm so glad we did the tram up the mountain instead of doing the hiking. I can spend more time up here enjoying. So yeah, it's well worth it. It was only like 1,500 yen. So it was like a shy of fifteen dollars uh, U.S. money just to do a round trip ticket, and it includes the gardens with the ticket. So awesome! 
I'm just loving it here in Japan. Can't wait to the next stop. Don't know if I'll be leaving Japan, we'll see. But let's go get some food. You wanna know what I'm into? We can start with a blindfold. You know the love goes deep, baby. Tell me what you info. I'm over the hill and under the brakes. Over the pain and under the faith Over the past, I wash it away Tell me if you looking to stay, yeah Now we can get it in through the daytime Or we can find a moon in the stateside I know you got dreams we could chase, right? I wanna know what it tastes like Tell me what's the motive, you got it It's hard kept, but it's more than a promise The way you move got me leaning all on it I wanna see you tomorrow, talk to me The magic on the potion Got me spilling out like an ocean Girl, don't ask me what I wanna do Cause all I really wanna do is you Your red lips are so persuasive Girl, it's like you speaking So we entered the Rose Garden Got a little cafe in here, wandering around you s Just entering the Rose Garden You can smell the beautiful smells of the different roses Pink, white, so on no. So apparently they have these little stations that you can smell in case you want to buy all the different scents. Oh wow. That's, I don't know what that is, but that smells delicious. That smells great. Uh, that one's okay. We're still wandering the gardens. Kind of the cool thing there. But the views are breathtaking. You got it's still a little ways to get to the restaurant and observation deck. It's just right there. We're getting closer. But you can see the harbor, you can see the ocean, it's just and you can see the city from up here. It's it's amazing, it's amazing. So it turned out to end up being, it was windy and a little cold this morning, but it ended up being coming a great day. The sun's out. I know I've had a lot of people on the cruise ship that have done these grand voyages a lot over the years. They said last year, a lot of the places they went to rained. So we've been so fortunate on this trip to be able to have such great weather so far. Now we have such a long time left to do, but hey, think positive. And the journey will be great. Absolutely amazing in here. Can't say it enough. Now we're gonna go outside to the deck. And I want you to take a sneak peek at this. So at the glass house, in the middle of the gardens, you got the beautiful fruits and whatnot inside. Then you got the viewing deck, which is nice and relaxing with that nice breeze. Yeah, it looks like there's a restaurant up top with beautiful views of the city. But I'm so glad we made this adventure. So we're about to get on the gondola ride to finish up the gardens and head over to the station um, to try to get on the bullet train. Right now we're in the, it's called the recreation area. Got tons of hammocks. We saw it from up in the sky tram. Now we're actually seeing it up close. You got empty hammocks back here in the shade. I guess everybody wants to be where the city view is back there behind me. It's absolutely awesome. I'm trying to keep low on the voice since everybody's just resting. But this has been an awesome day. So we're in Shinkobi going to 
Shin Osaka on the bullet train. It costs about 1,500 yen one way and then 1,500 yen back way non-reserved seating. So you can see the train right behind us goes pretty darn smooth train. It's going to get us over there in about 15 minutes. But we have to get to car one through three. train one's going now it literally said for about 15 minutes but it felt like maybe five it was super fast very quiet no one eating no one talking he didn't get loud until we got to the station and that's just because of the trains well now we're gonna head right from Shin Osaka back to Shin Kobe Say we rode the bullet train. We got a cool yellow bullet train on the way back. Now there is a Hello Kitty limited edition type uh, bullet train, but it's not here. But I've seen pictures of it. So it's really cool. Let's go catch this train before it leaves without us. It doesn't take long. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind Well, we're back in Shin Kobe. That was fun. Do I have to do it again? Not really. But opposed, if you had booked it through the cruise, one of, some of the excursions included a bullet train. And they were kind of expensive. We did the bullet train for 1,500 yen each way. Then we did the little trolley around town. You get to see all the different stops. That was only 600 and some yen. So right there we spent a little less than $36 right there. And then to get into the Sky Tram, that was 1,500 yen. So $15 right there, a little less. So I spent less than $100 today, snacks and whatnot, and souvenirs, and I did it all myself. So I think I came out ahead today, and I had a lot of fun today. Did the bullet train, I always was curious about that. Can mark that off my, mark that off my bucket list. But now it's time to go get a real meal. I'm hungry. See if we go to the ship and eat, or if we wander around town and find something to eat real quick before you head the ship. So I will catch you all outside somewhere. Well, we made it back to Chinatown. First stop that we did with that trolley that's about to pass. It was a good deal, six something. And Chinatown at night, all well, evening. Really pretty. Now we're just waiting for the cruise bus to get here so we can get back to the ship and get some free food. Stop spending money for a little bit. Otherwise I had a blast here in Kobe. Who knows if I ever get to come back, but I had a great time while it lasted.